Lou Manfredini, ACES Home Expert. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Dremel tool. It is one versatile tool. There are literally hundreds of projects you can use it for and literally hundreds of attachments that go with it. We're gonna specifically talk about three projects you can complete using a Dremel tool. Using a Dremel rotary tool to remove grout is a quick way to complete this project. First, you wanna make sure you have all the right safety equipment. Safety glasses, a mask, some ear protection are a good idea because it's gonna be kicking up a lot of dust. Now, I have found that using a corded tool is the best bet because you're gonna need continuous power if you're working on a larger project like a bathroom or kitchen floor, maybe even the tile in a shower. Now, there are different size bits that you can buy depending on the size of the grout, so you wanna make sure that you're getting the right accessory for that. And then this attachment on the end is the actual grout removal tool attachment. This screws on the end of the Dremel and you'll see that there are these little nubs on there that allow you to align with the grout lines as you pull or push backwards, adjust the cowling so you have the proper depth for your bit to remove the grout. If you're regrouting, you don't have to take all the grout out. You just need to get about an eighth of an inch in so that the new grout can really grab on. But if you're gonna remove a tile, cause say it's broken, you wanna remove all that grout around the perimeter. So you're gonna go a little bit deeper with the bit. This particular Dremel tool has an adjustable speed. Usually you wanna go a little bit higher speed on this. And then once you feel confident and you have the depth set, go ahead and turn it on and start pulling it away and start removing that grout. As you pull back and forth, make sure that you're just removing the grout. The bit is strong enough to damage the ceramic and or stone that you may be working with. So you wanna really take your time. As you can see, it kicks up a lot of dust. So you can use a broom and a dustpan or even a shop vac to clean it all up. Then you're ready for your next step, whether it's regrouting or replacing that broken tile. If you have old garden shears like this or a lawnmower blade that you'd like to sharpen, then a Dremel tool with the right attachment just might be the right tool. This attachment right here is designed for sharpening blades on garden tools. This is a cordless unit, which works pretty well. Want to make sure you have the right safety equipment, glasses, some ear protection, a mask if you would like. Now these old shears, as you can see, have seen better days. Many times people like putting these in a vise or you can hold it by hand if you feel comfortable enough using the tool. Now here's a tip. There's a rotation when you're using a grinding wheel on this and the sparks, you wanna orient the tool, whether it's in your left hand or right, so that most of the sparks are away from you when you're going to grind. Place your safety glasses on. You're gonna take that gap that you see, that little slot, and you're gonna line it up into the shear itself. Then you go ahead and turn it on and you start working back and forth, grinding that edge and getting all that burr off of the metal and cleaning it all up. That's it, do the other side and those shears are gonna cut like they did the day you bought them. Whether you're a serious crafter or you wanna try your hand at it, engraving using a Dremel tool is a great way to get creative. Now remember, safety glasses, ear protection, maybe even a mask, depending on the bit that you choose, you can engrave on metal, wood, plastic, or as I'm gonna to demonstrate today, glass. Now there's an attachment that you can buy to go on the end of a Dremel tool like this that allows you almost pen type accuracy to hold it in your hand or you can use a cordless tool like this Dremel micro tool. And as you can see, what I did is I just took a stencil like this, taped it over the glass and then used a marker to draw out the letter. Now I'm gonna hold that firmly in my hand. I'm gonna fire up the tool and I'm gonna start to etch away and then very gently sort of filling it all in. This is great as a party favor or something you may want to customize just to use in your own home. After a little bit of time and very careful application, there you have it, you're done. You can do your own arts and crafts using a Dremel tool. When you get done using all these bits, it's hard to remember what does what. I like to take a little masking tape and wrap it around the bit and put glass, metal, wood, whatever it might be. So the next time you go to use that tool, you know what it's used for. 
With the right tools and the right advice, you can do almost anything. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and make any suggestions you'd like for future videos. Ace is the helpful place. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks.